हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप यू ऑल आर वेल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट फ्रैक्चर इट्स कॉजेस एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन इफ यू हैव इन वॉश यर्स आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन माय डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और इन माय आई बटन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट फ्रैक्चर विद एपोनेम्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट फ्रैक्चर विद एपोनेम वॉट इट मीन basically some fractures are described by the name of the person who first described it for example montegia fracture dislocation it is the fracture of proximal third of ulna with dislocation of proximal head of radius now what is the mechanism of injury what is the cause behind this fracture so if a person falls on an outstretched hand with forced pronation this fall may increase the risk of having this type of fracture that is called pontagia fracture dislocation galazi fracture dislocation now in this type of fracture there is fracture of distal third of radius and dislocation of radio ulna joint now what is the mechanism of injury behind this if a person falls on an outstretched hand with elbow in flexion this type of fall may increase the risk of having galazi fracture dislocation now next is smith fracture and cole's fracture we will discuss this both of this fracture together both uh, are the fracture of distal radius and what is the mechanism of injury of smith fracture if a person is fall on its flexed wrist this type of fracture the fracture which is having will be smith fracture it is caused by direct blow to the dorsal forearm or falling on to flexed wrist then cole's fracture is just opposite of the smith fracture and if i am talking about uh, which fracture is more common so smith fracture smith fracture is less common than cole's fracture now show uh, i'll uh, make you understand with diagram hope this video is very useful for you all and the remaining fracture we will discuss in our next video till then if you have any queries you can ask me in my comment box and please like subscribe and share my channel thank you